What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts. As we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor worldwide, we are back inside the building once again, jumping into another brand new single. It looks like Tyler has had back-to-back -back drops. We did react to her colors session yesterday, which appears to be part of a double single drop. This is the other one that has dropped, and it goes by the name Truth or Dare. Um, very excited to check it out. This is a standalone single, so it's not like got a performance video or anything like that um, just yet it is just the official audio clip but really excited to check this one out Tyler's on a roll uh, as we mentioned in yesterday's video um, and I'm really excited to see what she brings in the future as always if you are new to the channel do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment and all that good stuff uh, and without further ado let's jump into it man let's go <laughs> Okay. Did you say you're on your way? Why now? When you just went in my message received. Oh, now you want me back. I know the procedure. This kind of area, um, sonically, for me, it sits in between um, an ama piano style of drum and a UK funky kind of style of, of, of synthetic. Um, those those pads in the background just give this such a smoky flavour. It just and the tune it reminds me of, and I, I say this often, um, the tune that kind of covers this area so well is "Get It Together" um, by um, Drake and Black Coffee and Georgia Smith. Um, that that sort of sound for me is such a special, unique area. This is falling immediately into the same sort of category and I know I've kind of made the comparison between Tyler and Drake a few times now there's a lot of similarities in the way they structure their creations and I think that's such a cool thing The whole arrangement of this is just singing originality. Like, there are elements here we have heard before. There are ideas we've heard before. But when they get put into this this, this tundra that Tyler creates, this this unique kind of whirlwind of emotion and rhythm, I, I feel she's got such a, a cool kind of direction going on at the moment. Again, there's elements of sort of early 2000s R&B here. There's elements of sort of more new school kind of Americanized um, sort of takes on the Ama Piano and, Af and uh, UK Funk funky kind of sounds and they all kind of blur together and they and then Tyler kind of arrives as this vocalist with this smoky kind of otherworldly vocal texture um and then suddenly it's all wrapped up and going in a different direction um I love what she's doing there's such a feeling of uniqueness about her as a vocalist to the death, you to forget that you used to treat me just like it. That hook is insanely catchy, especially after the little bridge section, which is very similar to the David Guetta and Burner bridge that has been kind of continuously used. There are a lot of similar um, kind of melodic directions going on. But then you get into that. Da, 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 da. Super, super catchy. What a way to kind of pull your your minds in because you're 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 recognizing it. You're familiar with the approach, and then suddenly you fall into this other layer, and the and the world starts to change around you as you're listening. That hook is perfectly um composed from the kind of memorable element into the brand new bit, but it is catchy and it has catchy kind of tropes to it. This is so well arranged. Are you playing? Truth or would you still want me? If I didn't have it all You could have had it with me But instead you gave This would be so good to perform as well I can already see the performance happening Tell me when is it gonna get through to you Everybody needs somebody But I can't feel who When they 
Even those little bits there, like, again, that idea of this being a tune that will be performed live well. We've seen Tyler now perform live in a number of different locations. We've obviously seen the the the, 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 the live Friday night, the Friday night live shows, whatever, the, whatever they're called. All of those sort of big American platforms, we've seen her pop up on those. We've seen her um, on different sort of television platforms. This is a tune that is almost designed for that sort of Grammy stage um, kind of setup where you, she's got, she can kind of move around the stage. She has these different elements. There are dance routines kind of thrown into it. I can already imagine this in a live setting. Um, and I think she's really smart in that direction. She creates tunes that work like this, but they also lend themselves perfectly to the live format. Few questions about me, tell them how you, how we could have come places, but you were too impatient. Now we roll into Yeah, that kind of that the, the melody on this is great. The the kind of very airy and then you suddenly get into the actual hook of that line and now we're gonna land on true for day it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant on an arrangement level. I'm enjoying this so much. Is it true you can? Catchy. Got another banger on her hands, people. She cannot be stopped. She is on a roll. Um, again, I'm going to be singing this all day. Um, it's actually my work's Christmas party today, so I'm going to be just in a good mood for the entire day. And this is just going to be running through my head throughout the entire morning. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely love it. Let's go. There we go. We'll round it off there. The sounds of Tyler. This one, Truth or Dare. The follow-up um, to another track as well. I can see there's a track called Butterflies on my screen as well. So it looks like she's almost dropped a kind of mini EP. You, There are no doubts we're going to be checking out all the different tracks off it. But this one, um, immediately love the approach on it. Um, I love the feeling of the, the hook. It's fantastic. I love the instrumental structure. The floaty, again, in that space between um, kind of Ama Piano and Funky House. I feel it's, there's this unique space there. Um, that Tyler is almost moving into very, very, very easily, and I love that direction. Um, and yeah, overall, this is another banger from Tyler. What can what can be done to stop her? Because she is on such a roll. Um, it's awesome to see. Um, I love seeing a new artist kind of arrive and just have this continuous amount of energy and gusto. Um, she's on absolute fire right now. Guys, what other tracks off this project would you be keen for me to check out? Do let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you are new to the channel, make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, of course, leaving a like, letting us know how you're feeling about this one by leaving a comment. And of course, uh, we shall see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your day and peace. Sun, sun is so good right now. But the sun in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cop Camp TV. Stay locked. Welcome to Cops Clubhouse, live on Brighton's premier platform for new music. Platform B.